Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK into your homes, and as you know, I'm the lady who changes her topics, like she changes her hair, and yeah, I just thought I would change my style again. Sometimes I get so bored looking at my, the same person every day. I just like to look at someone different, and when I look at myself with all my different hairstyles, I feel this I'm looking at a different person. So yeah, um, basically, what am I going to talk about today? Yeah, would you believe that um, bulk buying or panic shopping could cost you your insurance, your car insurance, or invalidate your car insurance? Yeah, I read that today. Well, did I read it today or did I read it yesterday? It doesn't really matter. Anyway, I read it and apparently if you, because apparently on the manual, I didn't know this, there is a certain amount of weight your car is allowed to carry. So if you're bulk buying, it's different if you're just doing regular shopping. But some people are getting lots of tins and lots of heavy stuff, you know, bags of rice that could actually weigh down your car. And if the, if the police was to notice that your car was weighed down or looked a bit, you know, slow moving because it puts a lot of strain on your tyres, when you have heavy stuff in your car, they can actually stop you and you could be fined up to 2,500. And if you're actually unfortunate enough to have an accident with all the excess load in your car, the insurance company are not going to pay out. They're also not going to pay out, which is a bit more obvious. If you've packed your car so much, you can't see out of the back rear view mirror, the back, I mean the back window. That is obvious, I would have thought, because we all know that. Some people, I don't know how they get away with it. They put something in the in the boot or trunk of their car, and the, the trunk of the car is actually up, you know, obstructing the rear mirror. I don't know how they get away with that. But what they're saying in this situation, if you've done panic buying and you've filled up your car full of stuff and you can't see out of the back window and you get stopped and that's another fine 2500 and your insurance could be validated invalidated so i'm just going to read it out very quickly for you because this is a short video causing um causing or likely to cause danger by reason of load or passengers could see motorists find or issue penalty points for overloading their car the law says road users should ensure their car does not exceed the manufacturer's weight limit, which is often available in the vehicle manual. Motors can be fined up to £300 fixed penalty and be issued three penalty points on their driving licence for overloading a vehicle. Some offences may be punishable with a court hearing which could see penalties rise to 2,500 fine and a potential driving ban. Overloading a car is against the law because this can strain vital car functions such as tyre and brakes, which may lead to a safety risk. Jack Cousins, head of roads policy for AA, said, in most modern cars, you'd be hard pressed to take the vehicle over its weight restriction. So I guess what he's saying is that you really, really need a lot of stuff. But the way people are bulk buying and panic shopping, that might be easy to achieve. How you should, however, you should always check the handbook and ideally weigh everything before you put it in the car, as if you're going to do that. If you feel you're close to breaching the limit, drivers should head to a weight bridge and get an accurate reading. A weigh bridge. Panic buying could put your car overweight. People fighting um, fighting for imagined survival. If the coronavirus doesn't kill you, stress or killing each other will. The RAC confirms overloading a car with goods or people can invalidate a policy in a warning to road users. Motorists can avoid issues with overloading their car by simply checking their vehicle handbook. Overall weight limit should be stated clearly in the manual and many motorists may find this is lighter than they first imagined. Vehicle owners should weigh large items before they're packed in the car and must not forget to include the weight of a driver and passenger 
inside the maximum limit. I remember when I was buying tiles for my floor, you know, these ceramic tiles or marble tiles, and they weigh a ton. I didn't know about this limit. And I had about three boxes. I had to make two trips, but they were heavy. So I might have been over my limit. I mean, that was years ago, but I might have been over my limit back then. Blocking road vision. Panic buying goods also can invalidate your policy or lead you to fines if items block vital road vision tools such as windscreens and mirrors. It is a legal requirement to ensure that you have full road vision at all times, meaning police officers can issue charges if items are causing distractions. This is a serious offence and road users could be charged with careless or dangerous driving offences. In severe cases, this could lead to fines of up to 2500 and a possible driving ban if major warning in a major warning to road users. Insurance providers are unlikely to pay out on claims if they find out a motorist was driving without full road vision. The company could argue that the crash was caused by inability to identify hazards, which will make the driver negligent. An invalidated policy means road users will not receive compensation for repairs, leaving many to face costly damage bills. Also increased crime, leaving many items in your car could make your vehicle a target for thieves, which could also invalidate a policy. Having expensive items on show could draw in criminals who could then destroy your vehicle to gain access and steal things. Insurance providers are unlikely to pay out for claims in this situation as they could argue an owner's actions fail to properly secure the car. And when they're talking about, you know, expensive items in this day and age and in these times of lack or people perceive lack, if people see a bag of toilet rolls on your car, you never know, they might break the window and try and steal it. You just don't know, so you've got to be careful. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.